and shall reign with him 1,000 years. Amen. You may have your seats in the presence of the Lord. We come today to give God praise and glory and to honor him for he is our great God. And to this loving family on today, we know that it's not easy. And we know that it doesn't feel good right now. But we do know that we serve a God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we have so made. So we come today rejoicing not just those that have no hope, but our hope is in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. If you love the Lord today, want to be kind of the Lord and the house of the Lord. Amen. 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 On behalf of the Rising Sun Church family, we would certainly express our condolences to this family and to all the congregation that's assembled on today. At this time, I'm going to decrease, and Reverend Wanda Spratty will come down and be our worship leader as we go forward in Jesus' name. Amen. Good morning to all. Good morning. We're here to celebrate the life that Deaconess Burke lived. We at Rising Sun, we love her. We love the praise. She was a praise. Amen. 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 So for it all. We know that you're going to grieve. It's normal to grieve the loss of a loved one that you love very much. But what keeps you going is to remember she's not suffering anymore. She's with the Father. And when we leave this earth, if we are born again believers, we're going to see her again. Amen. Because the absence of the body needs to be present in the Lord. So just be encouraged, family, to know that if she could come back here, she would not come back here. Because, see, the Father loved her and he loves her more, amen, than we could ever love her. So just be encouraged this morning. If there's anything that you need whatsoever, feel free to let us know. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we, we come to you this morning. Father, we're grieving, but not like those that have no hope. Because our hope is in you, Lord. And thank you this morning for allowing us to be able to know Sister Burke, for loaning her out to us, Lord. She, Lord God, lived a life worthy of you, Lord. So we just thank you for the opportunity to be able, Lord God, to just love on her for the time that you have given us. So, Lord, this morning, we're going to just reflect on your goodness and your mercy. She's not suffering anymore. No more pain, no more medication, no more trials and tribulations like we're constantly going through. Because, Lord God, her assignment has been completed. And you are well pleased with her life in Jesus' name. Father, we're asking you to forgive us of all of our sins, Lord. We're asking you, Father God, to let us just focus on you, to focus on the word that is going to go forth this afternoon, Father. Lord, I pray that that word will prick our hearts this afternoon, Lord God, and show us ourselves, Lord, because none of us are perfect. Lord, I'm praying this morning, Father, that you would use Pastor in a powerful way to present the word the way you have given it to him in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Elder Andre as he plays music unto you, Lord. Use him, Father God, for your glory. 
So, Father, take full reign of this service this day, Lord. And when it's all said and done, Lord God, you're going to get all the glory, the honor, and the praise. We just want to celebrate you today, Lord God. We lift up, Lord God, our hearts and our minds to you. And we're asking you right now to have your way, Father. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 The order of the service will go as follows. We will have the Old Testament read by Mrs. Shale Smith, followed by the New Testament, Mr. Lewis Blow, and the prayer of comfort from our own Deacon Leon Christian in that war. Amen. Good afternoon. I will be reading from Psalm 46, verses 1 through 5, King James Version. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore will not we fear, though the earth be removed and though the mountains be carried in the midst of the sea, though the waters thereof roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof, though there is a river, the streams whereof shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacles, of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her at that right early. Amen. 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 Prepare! 
all of you. Thank you so much this morning for that powerful solo. Thank you, Elder Andre, for the music. Amen. Amen. Now we will have the acknowledgments and resolutions by our own sister Hattie Cyphers. Amen. Amen. Sister Lynn M. Mothering, 
church secretary, and a copy of this resolution will be in your folder for the family. Now the resolution from the Rising Sun Baptist Church for your mother, your sister, your however she was related to you. This is a resolution from the church that I met her. And on behalf of Rising Sun Baptist Church, we resolve this is our resolution of respect and loving memory of your mother, grandmother, etc. Sister Mildred Lee Burks. Whereas, according to his tender mercy, God, who in his infinite wisdom has seen fit to remove from our midst our beloved sister in Christ, Mildred Lee Burks, on September 25th, 2024. The word of God says, Fear not, for I'm with you. Be not afraid, be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41.10 Whereas since it has pleased Almighty God to take our beloved sister on to her reward, the pastors, officers, and members of the Rising Sun Baptist Church in Lackey, Virginia, acknowledge that her passing has left our hearts broken. Thus we feel that it is befitting to express our sympathy to the family at the passing of your loved one. Sister Mildred B. Burks, we do express our sorrow and you have our sincere prayers. Whereas Mildred Lee Burks, at an early age, accepted Christ and was baptized at Mount Zion Baptist Church in Hollandale, Mississippi. Later in life, she united in fellowship with Rising Sun Baptist Church in Lackey, Virginia. As a faithful member of Rising Sun Baptist Church, she was very active in several ministries. Namely, she was a deaconess. She was on the deaconess ministry, missionary ministry, usher's ministry, and she attended Sunday school regularly. She demonstrated faith in Jesus Christ and maintained a commitment to Rising Sun Baptist Church until she relocated in 2019 to Charlotte, North Carolina with her daughter. Whereas the passing of our beloved sister has caused a deep void of sadness in our church family, we are consoled by the words of Jesus who said, I will never leave you nor forsake you, Hebrews 13, 5. Therefore, be it resolved that Rising Sun Baptist Church embrace and mourn with your family because we all have a common bond which has connected our lives. Be it resolved that Rising Sun Baptist Church bow in humble submission to God who never makes a mistake to the family, we understand that your loss is deep and your sorrow is great. However, we recognize that God has accepted into his presence a good and faithful servant. Psalms 116, 15 in the Bible states, precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the family and a copy kept in the archives of the church humbly submitted on this fifth day of October 2024 the officers members of Rising Sun Baptist Church Lackey Virginia Reverend David O. Spratley pastor thank you Thank you so much, Sister Cypress, for that words. 
of the acknowledgement and resolutions that are so beautifully done. Thank you so much. Now we will have remarks by family and friends, Nakia Marrow and Michaela Romero. Hello, good afternoon. I want to bring a, a little bit of lightheartedness with this speech. Hello, I hope everyone is doing okay or trying their best to do so. But in this year and a half that I've known her, I've always referred to her as grandma because she was so accepting into letting me into her family. I've always seen her as happy and in joking manner, so I'll remember her as so. She'd come to us and explain her Nigerian movies, and whenever she decides to be a night owl, we'd say how she was off in Nigeria having a blast every night. <laughs> For all we know, she's probably talking about us to them. But on another note, this family is close-knit and very loving. The most loving people I've come across. I just wanted to come up here and speak through all the anxiety and let her know she's loved by all and will always be. Amen. Sister Burke, 
She was just a very loving, caring person. And she would bring her daughter sometimes, and she would introduce her, and she has a loving spirit, just like her mom. Amen? Amen. And I will always remember that. I was just thinking about her a couple of weeks ago, wondering, how is this the birth doing? Because she always had a positive impression, you know, in my life. And I will never, ever forget her. But I know she's with the Father because of the life that she lived. She loved God. She loved God's people. And she didn't mind serving. And she didn't mind dancing and lifting up holy hands and saying how much she loved the Lord and how much she praised him. Everybody at Rising Sun knew how she was. She didn't have a shameful spirit on her. She would lift up holy hands. She didn't care. She didn't care because she knew who she was serving. Amen? Amen. Amen. And now I would ask you to silently read the obituary about Sister Burke. God bless you.
Deacon Brooks is here today, Deacon Parham is here today, and all other ministers or deacons, if you're here today, we preach you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We thank God for our minister of music, Elder Andre Phillips, amen, one of the greatest uh, musicians on this side of the East Coast. We thank God for him today. We thank God for our ushers and our greeters and to all of God's children. It is good to be in the presence of the Lord on today. There is a word from the Lord. That is recorded in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 25. I'm going to lift up just one verse of scripture. I thank my wife today for being our worship leader woman today. Matthew, the 25th chapter, starting in verse number 23, just one verse of scripture. And we find these words His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of the Lord. I want to talk with us just for a few moments from the subject. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. Well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Brothers and sisters, one of the most rewarding passages of scripture found in the entire Bible is found in our hearing on this afternoon. Well done, thy good and faithful servant. And I believe, brothers and sisters, this, this afternoon, without contradiction, that every child of God in this room, under the sound of my voice, one day want to hear those words, Amen. well done, yes. thy good and faithful servant. And because of the life that Dignus Mildred Burks lived, I believe, yes. I believe on the 25th of September, there was a noise in the heaven realm. And the angels were saying, well done, thy good and faithful servant. I believe today, brothers and sisters, as she was des descending from this shell and getting ready to go back to meet her maker, there was a noise in the air where it was saying, Mildred, well done, thy good and faithful servant. She was a woman who was faithful to the Lord. She loved God. She was not a pretender. She was not a Sunday morning only worshiper. But every time you saw Sister Mildred, she had something to say about the Lord. And how many of you know God is so good to all of us? There ought to be something to say about God every day because every day He wakes you up and gives you something to eat on Sunday morning or Monday or whatever day it is. It's a reason to give God some praise, some glory, and some honor. She was sincere about the Lord. She was a true friend. You know, there are some friends that hang around with you as long as things are going cool and going good. But she was one that stuck right in there. No matter what, she was always the same because if she loves you, she's going to love you. And if she didn't agree with you, she would tell you that too. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Yeah, well, she she was she was straightforward. She loved people. She she loved people. she loved her family. Loved her children. She loved everybody in her family. She was that kind of woman. And we rejoice today because I look at this uh, this program. You have done an awesome job. But that smile on that face, that's that's the Mildred more of the births I remember. Because whenever, and even today, I, and I commend um, Whitey's funeral because she was smiling even in her coffin. She she still got a smile on her face. And the reason she's smiling is because she's looking up to the hills which come with her help. Her help comes from the Lord. So she's rejoicing and giving God glory and praise. She's not praising God, but her heart was getting ready to stop. She was praising God. 
God jumped her out right then because she was getting ready to break the sky and fly away. So we come today to rejoice. I know you, I know you're gonna miss her right now, but guess what? You're gonna see her again because she's worthy. She's worthy of all that God has done in her life. And if you trust God and lean on him, he will give you strength and he will bless you to be able to see her again. In this word of God today, the scriptures preceding the text today, Jesus tells a story of a man who was going on a long journey. And he called his servants and he gave one servant five bags of silver. And the second servant, he gave two bags of silver. And the third one, he gave one bag of silver. Let me get the one man out of the way first. Well, he did, all he did with his was just put it right in the ground and buried it and went and had a good time. He did nothing and nothing from nothing leave. Amen. Amen. So we're not going to talk more about him. But the other two, they bought an increase. They doubled what he had given them that brought honor and glory to the master. The reason I like this text because it reminds me of Sister Mildred Burke because whether she had a lot or whether she had a little bit, whatever God gave her in her hand, she used it for the glory of God. I, if she only had $10, she would look around the room, look around her neighborhood to see if there was anybody else in need of something that she had, she would give it to you. Even if she gave you her last, she still gave it because she knows that you can't be God-given no matter how large you try. She was a giver. She was a giver. And whatever God put in her hands, she turned it over and gave it back to somebody. And how many of you know when you bless somebody else, God will bless you every time. She may not have everything she wanted, but she had everything she needed. And that's why she would give God praise in season and out of season. Amen. Mildred was dedicated. Yeah. She was a dedicated servant. She served for years as our missionary chairperson. She worked, she served the missionary ministry. She was up and down the streets, helping to feed the poor and encouraging people. She was busy about, she was not a church pew warmer. She was busy about the work because the Bible says faith without works are dead. She lived what she believed. She lived what she preached and what she what she read because you see her life was a sermon. Yeah. And she's already preached her eulogy already. Yeah. Amen. She's already preached her own eulogy about how she lived. Because what you what I saw in these 20 years was one that was may have made it in her mind that she was going to serve the Lord all the days of her life. She was dedicated. She was faithful. She would take even in the midst of her own, own problem. There were times when she was going through her storm, but she would never stop getting on the phone and calling somebody to encourage somebody and help them to get through what they were going through. And that's what you call unselfish love. That's putting somebody else before yourself. And Mildred was one that didn't mind putting other people before her because she was following the example of her master who said he did not come to be served, but he come to serve. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. Amen. Mildred loved her family, but you know what, brothers and sisters, if I could put it in one sentence, Mildred loved her family, but Jesus was everything. Yeah. Jesus was everything. You could not get out of this room without her giving you a testimony about what the Lord had done in her life. And it didn't have to be a big thing, but just a small thing. I don't know what you church, but I don't. I, I thank God for the big lessons, but I thank God for the little small ones because it reminds you just how close He is. Amen. Amen. She will give you a testimony unto the Lord. She. Jesus was everything in her life. She praised him morning, noon, and night. And that's the kind of person that you want to be around. I'm so thankful that God lived her 72 years to be on this earth to serve the Lord. I'm glad these last 
last 20 years included her because she was one that not only talked the talk, but she walked. She walked the walk. Amen, somebody. She always had a testimony about the goodness of the Lord. Sunday morning, she'd come into church, and soon the music would get right. After they had tuned up. Got the, got, the, got, the, got the music just right. She would begin to go into a praise. She would sit right there by herself. And if the church was on a, on a cold side, she would rise up first. And let them know that it's time to give God some praise. It's time to give God some glory. And she would help herself up. And when she get up, she started clapping. And then she started laughing. And she would praise God until she make herself cry. Begin to cry in the Lord. And begin to cry before the Lord. And if you know the Lord has done something for you, I mean, if you know the Lord has done something for you, you ought to have a word to give God some praise. You may not feel like you pray to God, but sometimes you have to give God a sacrificial praise. I didn't feel like praying him last week. But when I look back over my life, then, I would put food on the table, put clothes on my back, took care of my children, gave me a safe place to live. I come to give God a holy ghost of praise. When I think about the goodness of God and all that He's done for me, she didn't mind praising Him. And you know, brothers and sisters, you heard the saying, when the praises go up, Hallelujah. The blessings will come back. She prayed in the end season. And she prayed in the modern season. And I come to tell you, family, you may be going through right now. But learn something from Mills and Mark. Mills and Mark. She was a praiser. And when you give God some praise, when you give God some glory, he will get his attention. And he'll look down on your knees. And while you're praising him, She gave up that last breath. She 
Lord, I'm coming home. I'm coming back to get you. And he came back. He came back. Thanks be to God, he came back. Told him, Mildred, it's time to go. You've been on loan. But now your work is done down here. You have raised your children. You took care of your husband. You've had some rough days. You've had some lonely nights. But I want you to know that now it's made up for you a crown of life. And because of her walk with God, because she loved him, and she worked each day as she knew it might be her last. So now she's resting. Now she's resting. But the good news, if you know Jesus Christ, and I'm not talking about head knowledge, but if you have accepted him into your heart, and you are not just a Sunday morning worshiper, but you worship him every day. One of these days, and it won't be long. Yeah. Christ is soon to come back. Yeah. But if you yeah. have your self together, yeah. if your house is in order, yeah. when you hear the voice yeah. of a master, everything else will fall in place. Yeah. You will see her again. Yeah. Not with medicine. Yeah. Not in an ICU. Yeah. Not in an emergency. But you'll see her with a glorified love. And I believe she'll have a glorified smile like the smile she had. Said, see how I made it all? And guess what? When I got into the gateways of heaven, I heard a sound from heaven. Said, well done. It's been hard. Well done. I had to cry sometimes. But well done. I felt lonely sometimes, but well done. I couldn't pay the bills all the time, but well done. Thy good and faithful servant. Thou had been faithful over a few things. I will make you good over me. To the family today, again, we want you to be encouraged in the Lord. We because it's part of healing. Yeah. Yeah. Cry. Because the Bible says joy comes in the morning. Yeah. Hold on to your faith. Let the legacy of this great woman stay in this family. Yeah. She knew love. Yeah. You know no love. You know love. You keep love in the family. Yeah. And keep the memories alive yeah. of this woman who walked with God. Yeah. One who feared the Lord. God bless you all. May you have a smile. At this time, we will turn the services now over to the hands of Whitey's funeral home as we prepare to commit her body to the grave. Submission to the will of our Heavenly Father. Who has taken to himself the soul of our deceased sister. We do therefore commit her body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Looking for that general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come. 
through our Lord Jesus, who shall come in majesty and power to judge the quick and the dead, when the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be made like unto his own glorious body. May we with all those who have died in the faith rise with thine eternal glory for thy name's sake and the church say amen. 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 Let all the love of the Lord say amen. 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 At this time, I would like to take this opportunity on behalf of the family to thank you, Pastor Spratley, Reverend Spratley, Minister Hope, other clergymen and women in attendance for your love, your support, with many and your prayers to this beautiful family. I would also like to thank each and every one of you, the Rising Sun Baptist Church family, the Yorktown Lackey community. Thank you for coming out on today. It's a beautiful day on the outside, but the thing is, you consider your love for Miss Mildred. You consider the family of Miss Mildred so much that you sacrificed your time to be here in support of them. Thank you, and God bless you. And I do ask that in the next coming of days or months or whenever the, that the Lord places this family upon your heart, not only pray for them, but give them a call if you're in the neighborhood. It might not be in your neighborhood because you're a little too far away. But if you're in the neighborhood, <laughs> knock on the door. If they don't answer, that's all right. Leave them a message or leave them a note and let them know that God loves them and that you do too. Because for as much as they needed you today and yesterday, they're going to need you even more on tomorrow. So again, thank you and God bless you. I'm sure when it's more conducive to the family, they will thank you in a more personal way as well. And to the family of Ms. Burks, on behalf of the entire staff of White Eagles Funeral Home, it has been a great honor and an extreme privilege to be entrusted with the care of such a beautiful jewel as your mother, grandmother, sister, and friend is. And the reason why I say is is because we just heard a loved one is not dead. She has just changed her address to a home that is much better, much glorious, less pain, freedom of seasons. The home that was prepared by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ just for her because of her faithfulness, because of her servitude, and because of her sacrifice and humbleness. That's the reason why her life did not end. Her legacy began. And the legacy is what you see here and even beyond. So my charge to you, family, and even you friends, continue to live your life the way that you know that Miss Mildred will want you to live. Continue to keep your eyes focused on Jesus Christ. The same one that she kept her eyes focused on. The reason why all her pictures, she had a beautiful Kool-Aid smile on her face. And the thing is, when on the 25th, when the angels came and said, come on to your next assignment, what she left here, this old rugged piece of dirt, she left a smile on it so that you family would know, hey, I am okay. I am where I have lived my life to be. Go forward and carry on so that when your time comes, I want you to be in my presence again. And the only way to do that is through Jesus Christ. The only way to do that is through salvation. Don't be scared like the one with the one talent. I don't really hear too much about him, but don't be scared like him. Continue to seek after God. Confess him daily as your Lord and Savior. Believe in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead just for you so that salvation can take place in your heart. It's not the once saved, always saved. This is a walk. This is a, like I call it a spiritual shower. You bathe two or three times a day. You need to confess your, your salvation two or three times or even more a day just so that you can not, not get ready, but so that you can stay ready. And if you're not interested in being ready, my, my suggestion to you is to really reconsider your 
your thought because that is the only that's the only way that you have the opportunity to be in Miss Brooks presence once again. And if you love her and if she's done anything for you, I'm sure that you will want to have that reunion again. And so the only thing I can say is just stay right, get right. Amen. Amen. And family, as a token of our appreciation for allowing us this opportunity to stand with you, I do want to present to the family of Miss Burke this memorial plaque in love and memory of the beautiful Miss Mildred Lee Burke. My prayer, family, is that you will receive this plaque with the same amount of love and the same amount of prayer that went into creating it just for you. Amen. 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 If we have at this time, we need to have Sister Sandra Burke to come and give us our benediction. Amen. As Sister Burks is on her way up, uh, the family will be receiving. Come on, the family will be receiving friends over at Browns Park for a repast. So those of you who can. Spend a few more moments with them. You know, came this far. Let's go ahead the last mile of the way. So you can want to get yourself some good food as well as two. You can create some more memories in love and memory of this Mildred Burks. Amen. Amen. Good afternoon, church. I stand here today giving all the honor to pray, praise and glory to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To close the benediction uh, for Mildred today. Proverbs 31, and I'll do 25 through 31. Strength and honor are her clothing, or was her clothing, or still is her clothing. And she shall rejoice in the time to come. She opened her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looked well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up and call her blessed. Many daughters, no, I'm sorry. Her husband also, and he praises her. Anybody that know my daddy, he dad praises her. Yes. <laughs> Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellent them all. Favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Yes, yes. Give her the fruit of her hands and yes. let her own work praise her in the gates. Yes. Somebody say amen. 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 Would all but the family please stand, all except the family. 